Well, the College of Idaho softball team honored Caldwell's first responders this morning before they faced off against British Columbia. Six on your side, Steve Dan shows us how the Yotes and Caldwell's finest came together in a celebration of community and teamwork. You, you wish you were a Dedication and hard work. Along with unity are hallmarks for any successful team. We've been really working as a team, practicing every day, uh, working really hard. And, you know, our coach, uh, Bobby and Al, have really big parts in kind of like helping us uh, get team wins together. And nobody knows the importance of teamwork better than first responders who are honored by the Yotes at their softball game. So it's become a real special event for us as, as well as them. This year we've uh, made it a little bit bigger. The fire department unveiled their new Yotes fire engine, but this event also allows the two teams to spend time together. Thank you guys again, and uh, we really appreciate what you guys do. Plus, I also learned the Yotes really perform well in their first responders appreciation game. Every time they do one of these games for us, they always win. And so uh, we're looking forward to them keeping that streak going. We wish you were and it's that sense of community that brings everybody together in Caldwell. We want our school on the map and um, everything about this city is just, you know, teamwork together, community, we love it. Yeah, it's a great community and Caldwell's on the map. There's a lot happening here. Downtown's blowing up and uh, we've got great athletics going on at the college with a lot of wins. The Oats won both of their games against British Columbia on First Responders Day, improving to 22 and six on the year. Steve Dent, six on your side.